Mama Curbs came in and let me know that uh, we have a problem. Something dug out a little bit, reached in, and grabbed one of our ducks. So we're missing a duck. The big ducks have been living in what we call the goat run, and they've been sleeping back here. Are you coming back in, Callie? No? The big ducks have been sleeping back here in the goat house. And apparently last night, something reached in through here. This is not a very secure wall. Something dug out a little bit, reached in, and grabbed one of our ducks. So we're missing a duck. This coop was built primarily for, I call it a coop or a pen, it was primarily built for goats. And so that's why there's a stand here. The goats get up on there and they get on the ledge. On three sides, it's totally secure with a wall, you know, from the back of the chicken coop. This pallet wall here and then these two walls here. But over here on this wall, some of the boards have been falling out. Well, this one, I guess, fell all the way out recently, and I didn't know. So something took advantage of this last night and pulled a duck out. Based on the critters that I know that we have around here that are actively seeking out the free meal of our chickens and ducks, I believe this was probably a raccoon. Raccoons are very handy. Actually, they have little hands and they can get into places, reach and grab things. They will very often grab chickens and ducks right through the wire. And really all they care about is getting their head out of the wire so they can eat the top of their head. It seems like most of the time the raccoons will leave the entire body and just eat the head. Maybe a little bit of the, the chest cavity, like the heart. But this time it looks like it pulled the entire duck out of this hole and the duck is gone. You can see there was some digging and maybe he knocked the board off when he was digging and he thought, well, now I have an open hole. There's a little blood drop here. But no matter what it was, how it happened, the result now is I have a hole in the coop and I need to fix that before tonight because I don't want whatever it was. What are you trying to tell me, Kelly? You already had food. I need to fix the hole. It looks like my pallet wood here is degrading, it's getting soft, and my nails, my staples are pulling out. So I'm gonna have to get something uh, to help fix all of those boards so they're not at risk of coming off any longer. I'm gonna grab a couple of power tools and a handful of screws. So much look forward to someday having a real shop so all my tools are in one place. Not long ago my boys and I tore down a structure back here. It was like a barn shed thing and so now I have a pile of resources that I can draw from for projects like this. Now that I have that old pallet pulled out of the way, I can see that these boards are falling off. The, the pallet boards on the inside are just rotting away. So I'm going to have to put a board across the front of those and put long enough screws to anchor into these boards. They're getting soft, but they still have enough life left in them that if I can get enough screw in there, I think I can hold these boards on. That's the goal anyway. First, I'm going to go find a board that I can fill this little space with. to do it. Oh, 
Oh, perfect. Like it was made for it. Now we'll figure out how long these need to be to line up on there to give us a nice secure board on the outside holding it all together. That one right there is just a few inches short to be perfect to the end, but it's going to work just fine. Nice. Pulls all that together. Just need to get enough screws in here to hold on to that that old wood in there. That's pretty good. I'll put more screws than it probably that I think it needs just to make sure I'll it's biting pretty good. It's holding on. So that's that's what I need to see. That that's gonna hold those boards on there solid. I'll put one across the middle too and that'll hold it on real tight. Notice how that's pulling the boards in real tight at the top. Okay, this board we're gonna put across the bottom middle. Right across here where that middle brace is on that on that pallet on the inside. So that just means I need to mark the end. I can just scratch mark it with a screw. I'm just gonna use this old pallet for a workbench, a sawhorse. didn't really catch it's in there but it's kind of slipping around so I'm gonna put a few more screws there we go I think this wall is pretty secure see originally like I said I built this for the goats so I wasn't overly concerned about things getting in there but over time it became a place where ducks live Ducks sleep on the ground, so I'm not too concerned about the the larger wire openings up top. If there were chickens laying up there, then that would be a concern, but down here with the ducks, as long as nothing can reach in the bottom, that's our main concern, but there is an opening that we need to be concerned about. Let me show you. Since I designed this for goats, again, I wasn't really concerned about anything getting in here because raccoons typically don't bother with goats. They're just too big. So now that ducks are living in here and a raccoon has found this place and it could mean an easy free meal every night, I need to close up some of these larger openings. Now I've already secured the bottom part of the door with an old screen door cover. These go on the bottoms of screen doors to keep people from pushing through the screens. I thought that would be a nice way to keep little fingers and hands from coming through and grabbing ducks from the front if the ducks would happen to sleep up by the door. While I'm out here I'm going to go ahead and put a board across the top of this and maybe the middle of this here just like I did on the other wall to help keep those staples from pulling out. Just extra security. Just for security, I think I'm gonna go ahead and run a couple more over here and then on the outside of the big wall, on the outside of this wall as well. It's not gonna look as pretty, but at least I know these boards will be secure. Now, I don't really love having piles of stuff on the farm. I would rather have a nice clean farm that has, you know, everything in its place. But when you have the resources, it doesn't make any sense to me to throw them away and then go buy more 
when you need it. So for now, as long as these tiles are here, I'm going to use them. That's gonna make these walls a lot more stronger. More stronger? That's gonna make these walls a lot stronger. The boards won't pop off. Now I need to worry about the openings at the top. Let's see. I found these in the garden. Again, it was something that I'm not sure how things like this end up in our possession because we certainly didn't buy this, but I think that'll work nicely for covering the tops up here. I'll just cut them in half and we'll put a board across the bottom to hold them all on. I have four openings at the top that need covered. Each one of these will cover one because I'll cut it in half. So I happen to have five, that's one extra. Let me just use my bolt cutters here. It's weird how things happen. When you look out for things, you can end up living a lot less dependent on money. Even these bolt cutters were free. Now they look really rough, but they work. They came to us by way of Someone lost them on the road. They were laying on the side of the road. So now, because we're not afraid to pick things up, we have a pair of bolt cutters that have done quite a few jobs here on the farm. And there we go. To start with, I'm going to put, I'm gonna hold these in place just staples. I don't need it to be something that's going to hold for a long time. And just in case that was terribly out of focus the whole time, you can see that I just prop those up there with a few staples just to hold them in place until I'm ready. I hope that raccoon doesn't come back, but if it does, and it tries to find a new way in, that should keep it at least from getting through the top. There's another possible avenue for the raccoon to get in, and most people are probably already thinking about, well, what about digging? Well, it just so happens that this pen, this coop pen, was built on top of a, a space that was supposed to be under concrete at some point, never got there, that was from previous owner. But it does have this wire mesh, this concrete mesh underneath the whole thing. So it's going to be difficult for things to scratch in and find a hole to get through all the way in there. 
All right, so my walls are more sturdy and secure. The boards won't be popping off because I've secured them with these boards on the outside. Previously, I had secured the door with the wire on the bottom. Now I've secured the top parts with the wire on the top. This now with the, the improvements that I made today is hopefully more secure for the ducks. They'll have a place to live and be safe. We do have plans, if you subscribe and stick around long enough, we do have plans on building more chicken coops. And as we've learned over the years, we've made mistakes. So now at going forward, the chicken coops that we build hopefully will be more secure and uh, our chickens will have, chickens and ducks will have a safer place to live. So thanks for joining me on this little adventure here today. I'm gonna put my tools away and go back inside and edit video again. In the meantime, you guys have a great day. Thanks for being here. I'll talk to you soon.